Today we taste test Italy. This is taste test number two for Italy. Let's get right into it. First item I have is another look. Giant bag, box, whatever. Now these are donuts. Yeah, soft donuts with apricot filling. What? I hope these don't disappoint. Italy, come on, you gotta pull through this time. How cute is that? So let's open one. Let's see. Mm, they have that weird smell again. Here they are. Oh, look. It's a donut. All right. In this shape. Now I'm going to break it open so that we can see this apricot filling. This better not disappoint. Look. Nothing. Just how disappointing. Like, feel it. Like, feel it. Don't be scared. Okay, ready? I don't smell apricot. I don't smell anything. It just has some weird like preservative. Does this have, I don't know what the hell that is, but let's give it a try. No. It's not completely horrible. The donut texture is really nice and soft and the filling inside is apricot and I can taste it, but it's such a small amount that it's like, it gets lost in all the donut batter. How disappointing. If they would have had more of that apricot filling in there, I think these would be really good. So I'm gonna give these guys two Vivian heads. Boom. These are croissants. And remember I said I wish they had chocolate? I found them with chocolate. Oven baked, ready to eat. I'm tempted to put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. But I won't. Let's see. There's a lot of them in here, guys. What? This bag is kind of funny. Look, can you see inside? The games have begun, just rolling out. Oh, that does not look like a croissant at all. How many is in here? What? One, two, three, four. There's six, but look what they look like. Oh, they're not very... Why do they smell weird? It smells like some kind of medicine or something. I don't know. Okay, so let's break it open to see if there's chocolate in there. Ooh, okay, you see? That's a nice amount of chocolate to bread, right? Okay, I smell a little bit of the chocolate. I still get that crazy preservative smell. Nope, still disappointed. I think they may be better if you stick it in the microwave for like 10 seconds, but they're not as bad as the other ones were. So I'm going to give these guys two Vivian heads. So you guys saw these in my last Italian taste test. Those were white chocolate and this is the milk chocolate flavor. So I'm excited. A lot of people told me I should have tried the milk chocolate because it is better than the white chocolate. So here it is. Let's give it a try. The other one was delicious. So I'm sure this is going to be even more. There's two in here. The packaging is just so freaking cute. Wait, is this milk chocolate or dark chocolate? It looks like dark chocolate. It is Ugh, I got dark chocolate, sorry. I thought it was milk chocolate. Look how dark that is. If you're from Italy, what color is the box? This one's like a navy blue color. What color is the box for the milk chocolate ones? Tell me. Mmm, I can smell that dark chocolate. And then look, it has a little, what is that on top? Was that a hazelnut, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ready? Mmm, that's like a big bite. It's good, but I wouldn't say that this dark chocolate is better than the white chocolate one. The white chocolate one is still better than this one. I don't know. Maybe because there's also chocolate inside. It's too much. Now I will be on the hunt for the milk chocolate one because I got the wrong one again. So I'm going to give this guy three Vivian heads. We have our drink. This is the same world market brand as the coffee soda. Do you remember that? Huge controversy. I'm not sure. It said it's imported from Italy. This one says right there, imported from Italy. And this is blood orange soda. Oh, okay. This, I'm just as, is, I'm just as excited for this as I was for the coffee soda because I love blood orange. So let's see what blood orange soda tastes like. Hold on guys, I have to get ice. I forgot ice. Why don't you leave me a nice comment while you wait? Hit the like button. Entertain yourselves. 
Okay, I have my ice. I have my orange soda. Okay, let's open it. Let's see. Oh my god. I uh, love uh, blood orange. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I know it always looks like I have a lot of ice, but this is an itty bitty cup. So it's not really a lot of ice, but here we go. Who cares? Oh, look at that. Lord, look at that beautiful color. Oh my God. First, oh, so good. So good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. The um, blood orange flavor is not really strong. It's not as strong as I wish it was, but it is really nice. You guys have to give this a try. Oh, that's good. It's good. It's good. So I would give this guy four Vivian heads. Last item. Oh, I had him upside down. <laughs> Last item. These are some kind of a strawberry fruit tart. Let's see. Oh. There's one, two, three, four, five in here. Oh, they have a nice strawberry smell. Let me get one out. Ooh, it's on a like, I think it's like a puff pastry kind of dough and then it has sugar on top and then the inside has the strawberry fruit filling. I can smell the strawberries. Ooh, and I can smell the um, butter in the dough. Okay, let's give it a try. Mm. You know, they're not bad, but I also think this is another item that if you pop it in the microwave for like 10 seconds, it would taste better. But, you know, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. The puff pastry inside is really nice. The filling inside, there's the right amount of filling um, in there. And then the sugar on top gives it a nice crunch. They're not bad. So I would give these guys three Vivian heads. Mmm, so good.